I am missing the auto dimensions. How about you? Let me know in the comments below. Were you a fan of auto dimensions or did you turn them off constantly? Let me know in the comments below. I would be interested. I have decided to start a new tutorial series just concerning Sketch, meaning the new Sketch Solver versus the old Sketch Solver. You have sent me a few messages and comments in order to describe your problems and I am going to produce a complete tutorial series just concerning the Sketch Solvers. Because I am absolutely sure there are a lot of capacities which you maybe have not regarded before and one of them is going to be shown today in this video. I am going to do a comparison of constraints versus relations and I'm going to show you some benefits of the relations beside of course some negative aspects which I'm going to demonstrate in further videos. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Simon from BizLearn. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel to this comparison video. There's nothing left to say beside let's get started. Just one specific and very simple use case I'm going to focus on. I'm going to create a circle which is related to external objects and I'm going to modify one of my external objects. I'm just going to move this plane downwards as you can see it's on the top and this one has been created already with no specific setting. So if you have a look at the sketch you can see there is no persistent relation yet and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this plane to a lower position and see what's going to happen. I'm just going to reverse this and apply and you can see there is not even an alert. It does not tell us that there are relations lost just because of those relations are overwritten sometimes etc etc. This is somehow the experience that you have made that the system generated relations are changed during a modification even not within the sketch. So my modification was done outside of the sketch. I'm just gonna undo this and now have a look at NX12 which is permanently using the old solver. I'm going to start a new sketch which is positioned here and I'm going to create a circle. Honestly I am constantly using the new solver and I don't have NX12 lines anymore so it was a little bit strange using the old techniques for me. Guess what's going to happen after I rearrange this datum plane? Just guess. I'm just going to reverse as I did on the right side. Guess what's going to happen? The same problem as you can see and an information window which is here by the way. There are conflicting constraints just because constraints are not rearranged. They are broken right now. I'm just going to undo this. Is there a way to solve the problem without accessing the sketch? Maybe there is. Let's give it a try. I'm just gonna use a second option here. You can see I can switch the distance, but I also can switch the datum normal. And still the same problem. So this problem cannot be solved with an NX12, with the old sketch solver. So now let's have a look at the new solver. First of all, let's see what's going to happen after I rearrange the datum plane again. I want this to be a fair competition, so I'm going to just reverse this one as well. It's not broken, but the <laughs> position is maintained. And of course, the sketch now is no more fully defined. I mean, you can see it. There is no auto dimension or something which is telling us what degree of freedom we have, but you can guess that it's just one or two additional things we have to do. You can see now it's now working. So I'm just going to finish this and undo my last step. How can we solve the problem? I'm talking about something that I was unable to solve before. Can we solve it with a new solver? Yes, we can. Just because we now differ between a normal system generated relation and a persistent relation. Which work very very similar as the constraints do. 
There are even not more clicks required, it's just two clicks for each constraint. And I'm going to create a further constraint. To be fair, I want a fair comparison between NX12, I'm meaning the old solver, and the new solver. We have a very similar situation right now. Sketch is fully defined with three persistent relations. And guess what? I mean, you smart guys, guess what? Of course, this is not going to work. Just have a look. If I rearrange the datum plane now, the same way I did it before, I'm just going to reverse this direction as well. The same situation as before. No disadvantage. A warning, sketch contains conflicting persistent relations. In the older version, with the old solver, it has been a conflicting constraint. Now it's a conflicting persistent relation. So it seems now that it's not possible to solve my construction problem, but it is. Yes, it is. Just have a look. I'm just going to modify the sketch a little bit. I'm going to delete one of my persistent relations, only one of them. I'm going to maintain this one, and I'm going to maintain this one, but I'm going to delete that one. And now, sketch is still fully defined, because now, if you have a look at the circle, there is a system-generated relation, which has been created as a replacement, of course, to the deleted relation. I'm going to finish my sketch. Now we have a mixture of no degrees of freedom because it's fully defined, but we have a mixture of two types of relations, which has not been possible before. And now I'm going to reverse my directions. I'm going to reverse this one. And you have to take care for this direction as well. I'm going to apply, and here you can see the updated sketch, which is properly updated as I expected and as I wanted to. I'm just going to enter the sketch and of course it's still fully defined. So somehow it's a mixture of persistent relations and normal relations, which allows us to create even more stable sketches than we were able to do before. So you always have to compare this fact to the problems you have. In the future, we will be able to create even more stable sketches. But of course, training is required. And of course, a suitable method is always required. I hope you liked this video. Maybe you did not like it because you still see some negative aspects of the new sketch solver. Let me know in the comments below. I would be interested. Every comment is welcome and helps this channel grow. By the way, thank you for this thumb up and thank you for watching until now. I really appreciate that. If you have not subscribed yet, I recommend you to subscribe. The next video will follow in a few days. Have a nice day. Goodbye.